guys! I'm Anne and welcome to Chronically Beautiful where we are trying to live our best life even though we probably don't feel like it. Today we are exploring another hair tool dupe, the Marsky Professional Electric Hair Curler. This is a dupe for the beach waver that everybody is going crazy for right now. It is about $200. You can find it for about 100 used on eBay. I did a lot of research. This guy came to me from Amazon for $29.99. So we are going to check it out, see if it holds a candle to the other curlers out there. I don't have a beach waver to actually demonstrate with it or compare, but I'm gonna let you know if this is a way to go while you're saving up for the beach waiver. While you're here, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button. I would love that. And if you gave the video a thumbs up or better yet, even made a comment, that would be absolutely fantastic. That's how YouTube notices us. And also don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified of all of my uploads. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, so here it is. So recently I was chatting with my awesome stepdaughter Cynthia and she was talking about that her friend got this super good deal on this Beach Waver curling iron that was like $200. So I have a couple of other hair weird curler videos on my channel and I have one that is a dupe for the time iron which I will link in the box down below. It's like by far by thousands my most popular video so I thought it would be cool to do a video on the dupe of the beach waver. So we're gonna crack this thing open. It came with this little slidey open box which is pretty neat. It came in pink or white. I ordered white and here's this little sleeve and then it also came with this extra piece if you wanted to I feel like an electric color with this brush on it would just lead to a huge disaster. I'm not even going to attempt it. I can't like it's not You guys, this is, this is bad. So you could just use it as like a, a curling brush, I guess, and not do the spinny part. I would not recommend that. I, I can't even think about the mess that would make. So that comes off and then it has a little grabber here, just like the beach waver does. And see, it just grabs a little piece of the hair. And then here are the buttons to spin it. It's got a digital display. It looks like you can adjust the timing. So we're going to plug this in and uh, dive in to get this thing going. Okay, so here it is. It has a power button. I have turned it on and it looks like it has a timer to tell me how long it's going to take to heat up. It says it goes up to 210. So I am assuming that this is metric and that 210 is actually four or something and is gonna fry my hair off. So I'm gonna go down to, well, we'll go to like 200. And then it flashes, and then it starts a little timer to tell you how long it's gonna take to heat up, which is pretty cool. So it is gonna take 50 seconds, it said. And while we wait, we will figure out the buttons. So, whoop, look at that. It's got one button that points to the right, and then it turns, and then one button that points to the left and it turns oh, and it's supposed to be the perfect beachy wave and you don't have to do anything except sit there. So I'm kind of excited to try this. For someone who owns as many hair tools as me, I definitely do not curl my hair enough. I always tell myself if it were easier, I would do it more. Okay, so now you can see the temperature going up. So the timer went and now the temperature is going. It did come with three little sectioning hair clips, which is a nice extra touch. And it came with this little pamphlet. Anti-burn construction. That means the handle won't burn you, which I feel like is pretty standard on most crummy irons. <laughs> Could you imagine? Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. All right, okay, so it is heated. I am going to get my hair down, brush it, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, we're going to section off just a couple little pieces in the front um, just to get the hang of it, and fiddle around, and then if it goes well and I don't get injured or lose all my hair, we will go ahead and do the whole thing now. Because Information. Don't say it's a dry, wet, and amphibious. <laughs> Unlike other hair irons, it can be used for wet hair. Huh. Do I trust that? 
maybe just with the brush thingy on it. I don't, I don't know that I trust that. Okay, so we're going to take it. Which way is it going to go? Oh. So I, all right, I got to clip it in there. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so right out of the gate, it says to go right, but it's definitely not. So, I, okay. I, uh, oh, you could suck this thing right up into your head and seriously hurt yourself. I just came really close to burning my whole forehead off. Um, where's the button? Okay. So the right button was making it go backwards. The, the left button is actually curling it away from my face, which is what I would prefer on the right side. Oh, don't. It's okay. This is set up in such a way that like your fingers can touch the rotate button while you're trying to do this. So be really careful. Okay. Well, that's pretty. That's a pretty curl. Wow. It's very um, Queen Victoria. All right. So now this time, which way is this going to go? So I think I need to go with it, this with the hair away from me to get it and then push the top button, which is the wrong side. Yep. So it's the opposite button than what it says it should be if you want to curl away from your face. Okay, you have to really watch yourself or you're going to have a problem. You're going to burn your face off if you are not careful because it just keeps on going. It, it doesn't automatically stop when it gets to your face. Does this $200 one stop when it gets to your face? I should hope so. Should also make me a snack for two hundred dollars. I want a curling iron that stops automatically and makes me a sandwich and cleans up the dishes. Okay, and then I'm gonna push the button, bring it on down. Beautiful curl. Wow, I'm impressed. Let's uh, let's section out the hair and do this whole do the whole head. All right, one thing that I'm already finding to be a kind of a weird issue is that when you turn this, the whole barrel turns, including the clip and the everything. So, and the stand that you set it down on. So it, it might be in a weird place when you go to set it down. The iron, whoops, let's go this way, might be like the buttons are on the bottom now. So you have to, and it doesn't seem to affect anything because the handle is made in such a way that it's not in the way but just something to be aware of that when you grab it and then if if it happens to be on that side, if the barrel happens to be on this side, the clip, when you're going to squeeze it, your thumb will be over the buttons, which means when you squeeze it, it could move away from you and that could lead to you sucking your hair up more and burning your head or it moving really quickly and you burning your fingers. So you have to be very careful with these buttons. Like already that's going to be an issue. I know I'm going to hurt myself. All right. Here we go. So I'm putting the thing, the clip away from me, clipping the hair, pointing to the left, and then pushing the right, nope, wrong way. Nope. And then pushing the top button, which is the right button. So if you want to curl away from your face, you have to push the opposite button or put it in the clip the opposite way, but that feels weird to me. It's hot. It's definitely hot. Just gonna put it in for a few seconds and curl. Huh, this is the part I just hate about doing hair. It's this bottom stuff that like takes forever. Okay, clip it away. Bottom button. Turn the thing, don't burn your head. <laughs> I'm scared. Tell you what, right out of the gate, this is about 5,000 times easier than the time iron dupe that I have reviewed. Like a thousand times easier. This is like old school people. Like I curl my hair with a curling iron. I feel like young people these days do not understand that we used to just put our hair in a clip and just do it. Um, they are all about curling their hair with a straightener. And I just feel like that's such a pain. And it ends up, ow, oh God, 
loosen up a little. Okay. And I feel like it ends up looking the same. I don't know though. It's just me. I'm old school, I guess. It's making a weird, like, kind of buzzing, like, ears ringing sort of sound. I'm not wild about that, considering how close it is to my ears. I hope it's not just my ears. I'm pretty sure it's a curling iron. Okay. All right. This is not a super tight clip, the clamp thing. It's not super tight, but I feel like if it were super tight, it might leave like a bump where it's holding your hair and it doesn't do that. Thing. All right, well, let's just do this little guy just for funsies. Wait, how do I do it? Okay, put it up, put the hair to the inside of it, clip it pointing that way, and then I use the opposite button. So I'm going to use the right side button here. Oh, see, okay, that little tiny piece of hair just fell out. So if that is important to you, that so if you scoot it closer to the edge, it doesn't fall out. But if that's an issue for you, the $200 one probably doesn't do that, but I don't know for sure. See how it does with this little baby hair. It is a little baby curl. Score. <laughs> Oh, see, okay, so that's a little scary because it was really hot and then I panicked and didn't know which way to go and then I pushed the button and it made it worse. Like, you need to keep your finger on the thing just in case so you have an easy exit opportunity because that was scary. This thing scares me a little because it's really hot, guys. Like, really hot. It should not be so damn hot that I'm up here having dreams about me being on fire. 200, uh. See, I just keep accidentally hitting the button. So I don't know if the real version of this has like safety features that stop you from doing that. So that one's kind of wonky. You have to kind of help it along a little, which I think is the case a lot of times when you're doing this type of beach wave look. Okay, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> So I was recently watching, I guess it was maybe on Instagram or somewhere, and it was a girl using one of these curling irons or some something like it while I was researching this. And uh, it was a video without sound and she was doing her hair in fast forward and she kept like, I'll do it, I'll fast forward right now. <laughs> I wanted to punch her in the face. I'll be real honest. I know that it's weird when you're filming a video and you're holding still. I can tell you if you don't do videos, it is a little weird, but like, just go about your business. You don't need to be interacting with me by sticking your tongue out at me 40 times for the entire time. Stop it. Just stop it. I wanted to slap her face off. Like, I couldn't even watch it. If you like that kind of thing, I'm so sorry. I found it to be really annoying. Okay, so we're gonna let go and just slide straight down. Such a better job. This this curl is a little wonky. We're gonna do this guy again. Yeah, the, the trick is to um, try to drop straight down. If I were like in my bathroom or at my vanity or something, I'd have all the cord length in the world to help me. I just have some limitations right here in front of the camera. Okay, 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 all right. I panicked a minute because I lost the button. Cool. Well, that, those are beautiful. I, have, I mean, I don't, I don't know how that other one could be better. I really don't, because this, these are beautiful. I don't know how long they're gonna last. I just jacked that one right up to yeah. that. I mean, these, these, these curls look really shiny. They're beautiful. They're behaving well. I, I mean, they, maybe they don't last as long as the $200 one. I just don't see how the other one could be better, except for the few features that I'm 
kind of worried about. Maybe the other one is a little safer. <laughs> You gotta definitely keep the other hair out of the way because it can really easily get sucked up into this whole business. Sorry I'm not looking at you a ton, but this is a little scary and I'm just wanting to keep my eyes on the mirror so I don't burn myself. I'm sorry. I need a mirror, I guess, like right up here. Christmas list. There we go. See, when you don't pull it straight down, it the curls get wonky. <laughs> The rest of the curls I'm just leaving alone until they completely cool and then once they fully cool I will go ahead and, and uh, comb through them with my fingers a little bit. It's really pretty. I have to say this device is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know that it's two hundred dollars worth of good, or one seventy nine, or whatever crazy thing it is. But in terms of how much hair stuff typically costs, um, thirty bucks is not a bad price. That is the cheapest I could find it on Amazon. It was twenty nine ninety nine. And it was one listing like several pages in. Um, and I will link it down below. I'm really I'm just using it like a real curling iron on the back when I can't that I where I can't see because it scares me too much to try to use the um, electric part in an area where I cannot see at all what I'm doing. It's just too much. And that's the cool thing about this is that you can use it just like a regular curling iron. Why did I say it so weird? Something stuck. Oh, I went too far down on the thing and got all stuck up in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Okay, the hair, as I'm getting like closer down to the handle, does keep getting caught. You can see, maybe you can't, but there is a bunch of hair hanging off there. So, be careful. I don't know if that's just user error, or if this thing is like, just eats hair. Probably user error, because I suck at this. Yet I continue to do these videos. It's for you that I put myself through this. When I'm doing my hair, I like to section it out and like have the next piece ready while I'm waiting on this one. I guess that's just the multitasker in me. <laughs> like the, this, again, this one scares me a little just because I, it's like I feel panicked. Ah, watch the ear. Anytime I do curly hair like this, it makes me think of Shirley. Mm -hmm. Of Shirley Temple and the Good Ship Lollipop. On the Good Ship Lollipop. So now I've got that song stuck in my head. Worked. How? <laughs> Last piece, guys. I feel like this went pretty well. This thing is a thousand times easier than the time iron to use. 
it is, I mean, you just stand there and push the little button. There's a learning curve for sure. And I feel like this one is scarier heat wise and uh, a little more dangerous than the time iron or even doing this with a straightener. But I am honestly loving the results. You can't argue with those results. I mean, look at that. So we're just going to let these cool down and then I'm going to rake through and style a bit and then I will give you my final thoughts on the Marksky Professional Electric Hair Curler. Okay, so here is the finished look. I have to say, I am super impressed with this device, the fake beach waver. Um, this is literally the first time in my whole entire life of trying to make the beachy wave look happen that it's actually happened. Even with the fake time iron, which is supposed to just do beachy curls, even with doing curls with a straightener, um, doing curls with a curling iron, having one of those beach waver things that's like a giant crimper. This is literally the only time I've ever been able to achieve this very specific beach curl look ever. So I'm pretty psyched because as it turns out, I think it looks pretty cute on me and I never knew because I've never been able to do it before. So I'm going to enthusiastically give this two thumbs up with the caveat that you must understand that there is a learning curve. Now, could you make this look happen with a regular old curling iron? Absolutely, yes, you could. You don't need a flattening iron to do this. You could definitely do this. Just don't put the hair to the ends when you put it. Just do it like that and curl it up and let it come down straight and then brush them out. I mean, you could definitely do it with any old curling iron you have. Um, this is nice, though, because it does it for you. Just stand there. For me, I am exhausted always. And my arms honestly get really tired when you're trying to do all this crap and you got to get it to go the right way and you got to go that way and whatever. I don't have time for that. And also it's, it's exhausting and I don't like it. So this is really nice because it does it for you. Um, and it was pretty easy to use, as you saw, once you figure out how it's working. You just need to be really careful. Maybe wear one of those glove things if you're accident prone. But in general, and you just push and hold and it turns right off. In general... I would definitely recommend the Marsky Professional Electric Hair Curler. I don't know if it's better or worse than the Beach Waver. I would hope that the Beach Waver is better for 200 bucks. But honestly, if you're really wanting to get one of those, maybe start with this one while you're saving up for that. And uh, you might decide you don't even need it because I, I don't know how it could be better, to be honest with you. I guess we'll see how long the curls last. Um, but I, mm, I'm loving it. I feel like this thing nailed it. So awesome. Thanks so much for coming on this adventure with me. This is a fun one. Don't forget to tell your friends and, uh, you know, ring the bell, subscribe, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Keep coming back. Take care of you. Carry on my wayward son. Great, now there's a fly in here. <laughs>